Alright, back again, Luke here. And today what I wanted to do is make a video to help some of you guys out who might be interested in getting one of these uh, Konami System GX hardware boards, or uh, even if you have them already, a couple of things that uh, might help you out if you ever get stuck on uh, a couple of problems that these things are pretty notorious for uh, having. One of the first problems here, if we go across the board, this is a board that I wound up getting in that lot of uh, broken boards, and uh, it's one that I wound up repairing, but it took quite some work. First off, over here in the corner, uh, there are two just regular uh, surface mount chips, and these ones are uh, 4F, and the other one I think is 4H. And what happened with these two chips here is that uh, over time, wherever this board was stored, it had a lot of corrosion on it, and uh, the board and the chips actually separated from each other and because there was so much oxidization on the traces what I had to do is I had to run some wires here actually to uh, make the connections again and on some other parts I had to run the solder down and uh, kind of make a bridge and uh, the reason why I had to do that is because when I would turn this board on it would always throw up an error saying like uh, ROM chip or chip 4H and 4F were always bad and uh, one thing to note about these Konami boards uh, not only the GX boards but uh, for for example, the Polygon Net boards, a lot of the uh, older Konami boards here, what they'll do is if they don't come up 100% correct, um, if they throw up any kind of error, what they'll do is continuously reset themselves and they won't go into the game. Unlike uh, like uh, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 or uh, any of the Mortal Kombat ones, even if they come up with red uh, ROMs, usually they'll start up, they'll just be all glitched out. But these older Konami boards, they won't uh, turn on unless everything comes up green. So that was the first problem. After uh, fixing those two uh, chips and turning it on again, what I noticed is I had some really, really bad sound. And uh, that was because this DAC here, this chip here, was uh, completely, I mean, just so corroded that uh, it didn't even look like there was solder on it. It almost looked like, uh, you know, just... Uh, flaky dirt and uh, as you tried to scrape away at it or kind of clean it off you could see that the solder was actually coming off so what I did is I put new solder around each single pin and even doing that uh, there were some pins that the solder didn't want to stick to so what I had to do is there is a couple pins here you probably can't see that very well where I actually had to run the solder up to the top of the chip in order to get them to stick down uh, I went over this chip one time and uh, turned it back on and was able to get some sound but it started to get really crackly and uh, was going out and coming in again and then uh, after going over those other two uh, traces and those other two legs on the board I was able to get sound so if you're experiencing any kind of trouble uh, with these motherboards uh, you might want to try and check and you know see which chips are coming up red and then go back over it and especially a lot of the, the times with these boards at least uh, what I found is that it was just a uh, cracked or dry solid or, or uh, just separated from the board but that's the first uh, thing that I, I wanted to talk about here with these Konami boards the next thing uh, what I'll do is uh, I'll show you here uh, one of the games that I have here this is uh, Dragoon Might and uh, with these Konami boards these uh, system GX's they have a motherboard and then they have a ROM board and the ROM board actually just pulls right off sometimes there's some plastic posts right in here which keep the uh, the board in place but uh, I've removed those to make this a little bit easier for you guys to see but uh, we'll turn this thing on I'll show you what uh, what normally comes up with this so now this is a you know it's a good working board now there's no trouble with it at all it'll come up through this menu here and it'll start checking every single uh, chip on the board or the main chips that it uses and what you'll notice is that they're all turning green and it'll take a couple of minutes or a couple of seconds for the other ones to come up green as well but you can see everything comes up okay and then the game will start up like I said if anything comes up red uh, the system will instantly reset itself but just to show you that the system is working I'll let it run through here just a little bit like I said this is Dragoon Might for the GX it's a fighting game But uh, as you can see, uh, the game itself is working, so 
We'll turn this off here for a second. Now what I'm going to do is I have this other board. This is a board that actually came with this uh, broken motherboard here. And uh, like I said, it wasn't working when I first got it. And uh, I went around and I had to replace a couple of caps on here and, uh, you know, clean up the, the bottom part of the board. But um, got this thing working. This is uh, Tokimeki Memorial. It's kind of like a Puyo Puyo or kind of like a, uh, a Tetris-ish uh, game here. But uh, I want to show you guys what happens when I switch out these boards. So this is a working game, and this is also a working game. But we'll set this down here for a second and try and angle this down here so you can see what's going on. I'm just going to simply pull this board off. There's uh, four posts on here that hold it on. So it'll just uh, unsnap or uh, kind of click right off. There's one on this side as well. So sometimes the board might feel a little flexible and... Uh, it's, uh, it can worry you sometimes, but don't worry about it too much. We'll remove that one here. As long as you're careful with it and you don't pull up on one side too much, you won't have to worry about breaking uh, anything. But and we'll set this board back down. This is our Tokimeki Memorial. And you want to make sure that you get everything seated properly. Like I said, this board here also works. There is absolutely no problems with this board whatsoever. But what I'm going to do, okay, that's all situated down there. What I'm going to do is turn this thing on again. And I want you guys to take a look at the screen and see what happens. So this thing, too, is going to go through its uh, check. And as you can see here, it's coming up with 22D as bad. Now with 22D uh, being bad, the system will not start up. And uh, in some cases here, uh, some of the chips, they might actually stay on this screen, but generally it just resets itself, all right? If you guys ever have a Konami GX board, the main reason why the it'll always be number 22D, if there's no problem with the motherboard, but uh, you decide to switch out the ROM board, 22D will always come up bad. And the main reason for that is because you have to sync it with the, uh, the board itself. So it still thinks that it has the uh, Dragoon Might uh, in the, uh, the motherboard, so it's not going to allow another game to start up. I might have mentioned this in my other uh, video, but uh, I have another Konami System GX board, and I have that as, uh, what, I think it's uh, Gokujo Parodius. And when I first got that board, what happened is uh, it came up with 22D, which is this small chip right here, the small IC here. And uh, it said that it was bad, and me not knowing any better, what I did is, uh, you know, after several times of it not starting up, I removed that chip and I put in another one. And uh, when I turned it back on again, I still got the same problem. Well, lo and behold, I didn't have to replace that chip. Uh, all I had to do was one simple thing, and I'll show you what that is here. On this uh, board, you'll notice there's a test switch. So what we're going to do is, when you turn this thing on, you want to hold down the test switch, keep it held down, and then hit the power. By doing that, it'll resync everything, and uh, this board will come up as working. So I'm going to hold this down, keep this held. I'm going to try and hold my camera in one hand here until I can uh, turn the switch on. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to do this. <laughs> Let's see. All right. We'll kind of hold this here. Okay, I got this held down. I'm going to hit the switch on my board. And watch this. See how it says initializing? And it says EEPROM check, initialize complete. And uh, you'll watch this thing start back up again. And watch 22D. It comes up okay. So... Anytime you decide to switch out a ROM board on these uh, System GX boards, uh, and 22D does come up as bad, what you're going to have to do is just uh, make sure that you hold down this test switch when you turn it on, and as you can see here, everything comes up okay, and uh, the board itself will turn on. So, there we go. But I thought I'd share that information with you guys. For me, it was... <laughs> For me, it was, uh, you know, a pretty frustrating thing, you know, not knowing exactly what to do. But uh, after some, uh, you know, fooling around here with the board and, uh, you know, messing around a little bit, figured this out, and uh, hopefully it'll help some of you guys out if you're having the same problem. So, well, you can see this board works fine. But uh, this thing will kind of go in here and 
start up. You can kind of see it's like a Puyo Puyo. It's kind of it's kind of a fun game. <laughs> But yeah, if you're having any trouble like this, uh, where the board is not turning on when you go to uh, plug in a new ROM board, and this could be uh, if you just buy a bare motherboard and then eventually get a ROM board, which is what I did uh, for my first GX board, and it didn't work, you know, put the ROM board on, keep the test button held down, turn on the switch, wait until it says uh, initialization is complete, let go of the test switch, and uh, it'll go through the, uh, the ROM check. And if everything else comes up uh, A-OK, -okay, the game will start up. If anything else comes up as bad, you might have something similar to what I had over here, which was uh, a couple of uh, you know chips that were lifted from the board and a couple of legs and a lot of, uh, of old solder here on the board. But once you get all that uh, cleared up and working great, uh, You'll be able to enjoy some of your favorite games or even enjoy some games that you never had a chance to play and found online and thought you'd give a shot. But that's about all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon. So thanks for watching.